What's good, superstars? Back with an NFT video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Rob in the building. How's it going, Rob? Pretty good, you? Oh man, oh, man. I love making money. Love talking about NFTs and how NFTs will make us money, guys. If you're new here, do not forget become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. Become a superstar. You get that bell notification on, unless you know whenever we post some topics about making money on the channel. You know we're called Superstar Money for a reason. You can also become a superstar VIP. Two nine nine a month. Hit the join button under the video. Get one of these stars next to your name. The longer that you are a member for the the levels go up for your stars and you get more entries into the giveaways every single month follow us on x follow us on instagram join the discord in the discord you can talk about making money on all your favorite projects any nft projects stock market um all that different stuff we have all kinds of different chats where you can talk about making money uh like we we love to do here so i mean everybody uh just make sure you go join the discord yeah, guys, make sure you join the Discord. So there's a this has been a big topic recently in the space, right? People say NFTs are dead. You keep hearing that NFTs are dead. The thing is, are they really dead? I mean, if you look around the space, to say that they're dead, you would think you'd find consistency that many NFTs would be basically worthless. But what we found is that there are certain ones that continue to hold their value. Look at Pudgy Penguins, for example. The floor is still $40,000. It's insane. But how do they do this? How is it possible that after all this time in a world when NFTs are dead, actually some of these are thriving and they're doing just fine? So I think when that when people talk this way, it's because many NFTs that they knew of have not done very well. And we're going to talk a little bit today about why we think NFTs are coming back, back to the public mind, back to the good old days when people were going crazy. You could buy an NFT, you could do nothing. You could just buy it. It doesn't have to do anything and it would just go up. And that's it. This is what we're gonna we're gonna break down today. I mean, we've we've said it before, and we'll say it again. I mean, the next leg up in the space we believe runs through utility. It's gonna be where your NFTs do something, um, and then other people are envious of that something. Uh, it just hasn't been developed yet. I mean, we haven't seen it from any of the companies that we track in the space as of yet uh, to be something that uh, is is full-blown uh exciting even when it comes to pudgy penguins um i think the reason that you haven't seen mainstream adoption through the pudgy penguins is because of that steep floor there's only eight thousand editions total of the pudgy penguins so only eight thousand people or eight thousand eight hundred eighty eight people will have those maximum perks there's other ways to get into the pudgy environment ecosystem but you're always capped at that eight thousand eight hundred eighty eight editions I think what we need to see in this space is a little bit more accessibility into the utility. Um, maybe having a little bit more additions of more than one type of collectible or more than one type of gaming NFT um, will be something that is more widely acceptable because more people can get into it. Now, Rob, I think you have a couple of NFT games pulled up here. Um, I know that it, there was a, a recent post, uh, I believe from CoinGecko, I think you have. Yep, you're right. So we have a recent post here from CoinGecko. It says uh, six best NFT crypto games to play in 2024. Play to earn. Play to earn is something that we've always been very interested in because you actually get rewards. That's utility for owning NFT. So we're going to actually listen to this video in full. It's not that long, 251 to 353. So it's only a, a couple of minutes. Let's, let's play it. Listen in. To get started with the game. Legends of Illumia is a fantasy MMORPG backed by Animoca Brands and built on Solana. In Illumia, players interact with the world through character avatar NFTs. Each character in Illumia is a one-of-a-kind NFT with unique appearances, stats, and abilities. There's also three classes of characters, Champion, Battle Mage, and Archer. As players explore procedurally generated dungeons teeming with beasts, characters gain experience, level up, and get stronger. Players can also form a squad to defeat powerful monsters and get valuable loot. Most of the loot gathered from gameplay can be traded as NFTs, which is cool since it emphasizes the team's commitment to giving players ownership of their in-game assets. Illumia is also working on a PvP game mode where players challenge each other to battles. The game has been released and is currently in early access. There is, however, a catch. You need a character avatar NFT to access the game, which may be a tad steep for some. So check if Guys, buying one meets your budget. I'm just saying. Otherwise, you could wait for Illumia to announce a <laughs> That's new some serious money right in the there. future. 
if you have some cash or some soul lying around and want to give this Web3 MMO a go, head to Illumia.io, click on Login, mm -hmm. and follow the steps on the web page. I think that's good enough. So, I mean, we, we see it there. We see we see the potential of the space. We see um, we see how ownership is going to matter for games in the future. Um, and again, I think you have the same issue with the Alluvia game there is that the, the price to enter, it, I think it showed like 30 something soul, which is like uh, $6,000 or something like that just to play the game. So obviously that does not work. Obviously there's going to need to be more ways to get into the game, to play the game. Um, or like if platforms have like 10,000 editions of a collectible that can play a game might be a little bit more enticing for people to come over and play and then play to earn, right? So this is what I love about the fact. This is why NFTs are coming back, right? Especially with the play to earn model. If you look at some of those popular games in history, you got World of Warcraft, for example. And there was like the RuneScape, there was Pokemon, right? Like all these RPG games. Now imagine that the character has can be leveled up. So what's happening now is that your NFT, you can actually add value by putting in your time and leveling up these RPG characters. So as that character levels up, if somebody wants to buy your character, that level up can come with it, which by you putting in your time, you're actually putting in value now for the future. So this is something that game developers, some of the traditional ones, they don't like it because they don't have the same incentive. They want to sell a new game. They want you to start from scratch. But when you see a game like this and Animoca brands, these guys are in everything. Everywhere you turn, there's Animoca brands everywhere. But this is an example of a game that's really want, like they did a very well done game, high graphics, it looks like a fun RPG games reminds me a lot of World of Warcraft. They have items that are also NFTs too. And people will be able now to actually sell the characters that they that they have leveled up. And it even reminds me of a small economy. I remember there was a, a, um, a story I heard about that game RuneScape where people would actually make money in whatever country they were in struggling to make ends meet. They used games to sell things for real money and do transactions in order to be able to buy whatever they need to buy in their country. And I think this was an example of RuneScape where they sold gold in order to get US dollar because their, their currency wasn't very good. So imagine that now with the NFT space. We see it with crypto, right? Places like Venezuela, whose dollars being inflated, uh, being uh, devalued, they go and they turn to Bitcoin. What about these play to earn NFTs? Could they also be another way to transfer money and another way to earn some income? Yeah, I mean, we've seen gaming becoming uh, mainstream. I mean, people were uh, always talking down on people who play games as uh, their as their source of income, but now we see people in gaming competitions and and earning a living from just being in these squads. and And uh, we've seen Face Clan, we've seen a hundred thieves, all these people into games. Um, uh, and 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 calling that a career. YouTube streaming is because of games now. I mean, uh, it's been it's been something that. Uh, could take the world by storm. I think it's just not hit uh, the right game yet, or there hasn't been the perfect mix where people have had to generate that interest back into NFTs. And I don't think that NFTs are going to be shied away from. I think the NFTs will be something that people are taking pride in. And I think people who like say like, oh, we're not going to use the word NFT. We're not going to do that. I think uh, that might be a mistake in the future because uh, when it does hit and when the right combination comes together and it's the game that people actually enjoy um, that they're going to all start coming back and talking about it. And that's because of the gaming utility that will be the next leg up in the space. And we see it too with Pudgy Penguins, right? Why is Pudgy Penguins holding a 10.7 ETH floor? I think a lot of it has to do with the constant obsession with utility, right? Pudgy Penguins, they want to bring games as much as possible to, they have that whole gamification side. They have all kinds of things. So, I mean, it's really, really incredible what, what we can see with, this utility uh and what it can do for uh nfts so that's why i personally believe that uh that in in the future uh people will start looking at these things very differently uh than than they do right now because right now they're filled with nfts where you're not actually able to do anything with it so absolutely nothing that that people see is actually what the future is going to be they see NFTs that they buy like a rock that's worth a million dollars and they can't do anything with it. Uh, uh, so anyways, guys, I'm, I'm curious to hear your thoughts because based on what we can see right now with the space, things are really growing up. Things are uh, The space is really starting to grow. I think NFTs are coming back. 
I think people who have, are in the NFT space may have some potential, some opportunity to do great things. Uh, so I think it's going to be a really, really cool thing. And we'd be, we would love to know your thoughts. So make sure you let us know in the comments below. Now, if you haven't already, don't forget, become a superstar, smash the subscribe button, join the superstar fan, hit the bell notification button to get every single video, every single day. We do not miss. We are here for you every single day. Uh, guys, uh, thank you so, so much for your support to our VAPs. Thank you guys so much for your support. Anyways, take care. We'll see you next one. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye.